So the question is, what is disjuncture theory and how does it affect or influence the notion of disability or people with disabilities? Disjuncture theory eliminates the binary of disability, not disability, and here's how. Disjuncture theory explains disability as an interactive ill fit between the body, broadly defined, and the environment, again broadly defined. So if we take an expansive view of the body to include, among other dimensions, the body, its appearance, experience, the sensory body, the social emotional body, the spiritual body, the economic body, the cognitive body, and then coupled with an expansive view of what we mean by the environment, the environment really being the entire set of conditions under which one operates to include, but again, not be limited by the physical environment, sensory, virtual, constructed being the social, political, and economic, spiritual environment, among other environments. We have ultimately this large complex we can thinking about Again, ill fit between body broadly defined and environment broadly defined. As such, we can consider that not all impaired people are disjunctured, but all disjunctured people are disabled. And let me give you an example. Jane, regardless of the notion of her bodily impairment, might be disabled because she's afraid to drive her car on ice and snow, but is not disabled when she's driving on dry pavement. 